Hello, everybody. One important limestone milestone. I'm saying limestone. <laughs> One important milestone we are passing again. That is date 2023. I was not coming live in YouTube for some time because I was getting my energy back. You were also getting your energy back after net various um, exams you are preparing for. So I thought I will take just a little rest and I'll come back and start various sessions. My paid course students who are here in Zoom with me, they were all in the initial phases of the paid course. So I had to give them full attention and they were a little uh, overstressed at the beginning because so many classes and everything. And I was waiting for them to settle down so that they will be able to join the YouTube live sessions also. So today we know that GATE exam is going to be on the 5th of February. We don't know when the NET exam is going to be. Anyway, we will do our duty, which is study. All the important authors' works you have been studying, many of you have cleared NET, many of you have got close to passing. If we just give one more push, it is going to be easy. Guys, across India, educational policy is changing. Uh, undergraduate course is becoming four years and things like that. So right now is the time to pass. While they gradually phase out the three-year course, undergraduate course, and uh, postgraduate course also changes. While, while that is happening in the next one or two years, you should pass, get a permanent job. Before all these changes come in, you should be ready. So give your full 100% this time. Don't say I don't have time. Don't say I'm tired. Don't say I'm bored. Don't say I don't know what to do. If you want, you can join our paid course. Otherwise, no problem. YouTube classes are beginning. Okay, today's topic so without wasting time, let us come to today's topic. This is a topic important for GATE, important for NET. This is a topic important for WV set, MH set, Assam SLET. All these have been announced. Whichever exam you are writing, this topic is important. And that is 21st century literature. Today, I'm talking about British writers of the 21st century. I will also be talking about 21st century post-colonial writers, Indian writers in the coming days. Okay, we will start American also. All the major 21st century writers, contemporary writers, we will cover one by one. And that will help you immensely in the exam. I'm not saying I will come live every day. I will come with, uh, in two, two days so that you will get time to read extra on these uh, authors that I'm going to talk about. Okay, we have time for gates. So I will come every two, two days and you will be able to read extra also. So guys, first and foremost, we start with Hilary Mandel. In gate as well as net and set exams, they expect you to read on your own. They expect you to be readers with general knowledge in the subject. You should know about contemporary Booker Prize winners, Hilary Mandel, especially important because Hilary Mandel passed away recently and she wrote historical fiction. Many of her novels are set in historical periods. She wrote personal memoirs and short stories. Those are very important. Remember these genres, which of the following genres did Hilary Mandel not write? Like that they can ask questions. Or which of the following writers is a writer of historical fiction? Hilary Mandel's early novel is Every Day is Mother's Day. 
every day as mother's day was uh, partly autobiographical it was inspired by her own work in a geriatric hospital geriatric hospital means old age home old age hospital old persons hospital so which of these is about geriatric care or old people remember every day is mother's day it is easy to remember because the title itself reminds you of old people and then vacant possession in her next novel is vacant possession remember guys all the novels are not important but vacant possession is a sequel to every day is mother's day see vacant possession is a sequel second part of every day is mother's day very important are her two booker prize winning novels which form part of thomas cromwell trilogy thomas cromwell trilogy is set in the 16th century in britain as you know thomas cromwell lived in the time of henry the eighth and he wrote three novels which are they bring up the bodies wolf hall first in 2009 he wrote uh, she wrote wolf hall then bring up the bodies then mirror and the lights in between between 2012 and 2020 there are other novels like flood f l u d d wolf hall is the place where uh, is the house of the third wife of henry the 8th jane seymour jane seymour uh, was the wife of henry the 8th this is about political intrigue fighting these three novels are about political intrigue and uh, backbiting among the uh, noblemen and how power corrupts people that is the theme of uh, these novels and also it is fictional biography this these novels are about the uh people's lives of that time it is written in the form of wolf fall especially is fictional biography based on the people living at that time especially based on thomas cromwell and his rise to power and fall remember thomas cromwell was assassinated by killed by the king he was put to death executed by the king assassinated and executed by the king and these three are closely related novels will fall bring up the bodies and uh, mirror and the lights and bolin jane seymour henry the 8th these are all characters in these novels they might ask you about uh, the characters also and uh, it follows particularly uh, thomas cromwell's life and death until his execution 5 years after the anglican church came to power anglican church came to uh, came into being in 1535 with the act of union 5 years after that in 1540 thomas cromwell was put to death thomas cromwell had helped uh, originally he had helped uh, henry to divorce catherine and marry anne boleyn and eventually anne boleyn was also put to death anne boleyn was also put to death remember so after this introductory uh, session if you read a little bit extra you will be able to understand and remember very well so death of anne boleyn death of thomas cromwell uh, all these are events in hilary mandel's thomas cromwell trilogy did you understand guys are you enjoying the next writer we have is bernardine evaristo she is a british writer and she is very famous because she got booker prize along with whom margaret atwood when margaret atwood's testaments won booker prize along with that there was bernardine evaristo also she was the first black woman to receive the award girl woman other is that magnificent novel where she is talking about different women it follows the life of not one not two not three but 12 characters girl woman other is the story of 12 characters living in 
uh, United Kingdom over a period of time, over many years. And along with Girl, Woman, Other, Margaret Atwood's Testaments won Booker Prize in 2019. Testaments is a sequel to Handmaid's Tale. Bernardine Everisto is an author of fiction, verse fiction, short fiction, non-fiction, literary criticism, journalism. You should also check out which are the other work, books of Bernardine Everisto. Remember, the other novels of Bernardine Everisto could also be famous. What are the other awards that she got could be famous? Will you remember, guys? Her other important works are Soul Taurus, Blonde Roots. Before that, there is one, Emperor's Babe. I have read about it when she got Booker Prize. Emperor's Babe. That came first. After that, Soul Taurus. Then, Blonde Roots. And recently, she wrote Manifesto on Never Giving Up. And uh, she was a very important figure recently, not recently, some years ago, in Royal Festival Hall. That is the Black Writers Festival in Britain. The Black Writers Festival. These days, you should have general knowledge in order to pass exams. You should know about major book festivals, writers festivals. That also could be important. They can ask you about the important book festivals in the world. Because being a teacher of English literature, you should know that also. Please Google search major book festivals in the world. It is not enough to know about Jaipur festival. You should know about the world famous festivals of Europe and America also. And also Asia. And Bernardine Everisto is also a very important figure in theater. She is an activist among women of color, women writers of color. And she was actively involved in black theater also. Will you remember these points, everybody? Black theater also, Bernardine Everisto. And everybody must have heard of Mark Haddon. He is a very famous author of the curious incident of the dog in the night time. This is a bestseller book from 2003. Mark Haddon is not only writer, but also illustrator. This book is important. It's a first person narrative of a 15 year old autistic boy named Christopher John Francis Boone. This is a very postmodern novel. Even children have read it. It is a teen fic teenage fiction also. And this novel uses prime numbers to number the chapters. One, three, five, seven, like that. And uh, not, not, not uh, uh, you know, uh, ordinary numbering. And this book won prestigious awards like Whitbread Award. Please look up the awards, which are, which are the major works that have run, won these awards could be important in exams. And very importantly, Commonwealth Writers Prize. Commonwealth Writers Prize is a very major uh, award established in 1987. Commonwealth Writers Prize was first won by, uh, com it was first won by uh, the Summer Lightning. Olive Shriner's Summer Lightning. And uh, it has been awarded to many Commonwealth writers that we know. Rowington Mystery and Michael Ondache and others. Please read about Commonwealth Writers Prize. So that is Mark Haddon. The next writer, let us see who it is. Shall I give you a clue? Will you be able to find out? This man is uh, the author of fiction, short stories, novels. Have you heard of Girl Meets Boy? The Accidental. These are some of the famous novels by this man. It is Ali Smith, very important Scottish novelist 
and short story writer he has also written plays he has written articles in very important journals and newspapers there are many postmodern uh, works that he has written including the short story collection free love and other stories it is an award winning short story collection by the scottish writer ali smith and also he has written many other short story collections the whole world and other stories the first person and other stories etc his important novels include hotel world which is a postmodern novel autumn winter spring summer these are very famous autumn winter spring summer like i told you girl meets boy is a little famous the accidental please look up ali smith he is an award winning writer it is possible that you will get questions based on him when you read look for what youtube is uh, sorry google is suggesting when you start typing they will suggest you know combinations of keywords look up those works especially they could be important like ali smith there is another award winning writer coming up next she is not scottish but irish she is anna burns anna burns is an author from northern ireland anna burns is a very major uh, irish novelist she has won the george orwell prize for political fiction and also her milkman won the booker prize in 2018 these are very important milkman that won booker prize and also she wrote about the irish political situation which won her the orwell prize for political fiction no bones her debut novel is about a dysfunctional family which symbolizes the northern ireland political situation because she won booker prize for bookman sorry milkman she could be very very important she has also written a few other novels which are not that famous milkman is historical psychological fiction milkman is historical psychological fiction set during the famous period in ireland called the troubles whenever you google search anna burns's milkman you will see this first it is set during the period called troubles in ireland troubles is uh, a period of a lot of political and uh, financial troubles in ireland that lasted about 30 years from the 1960s to the 80s 1960s to 80s or 90s it was i think troubles it was a time when there was a lot of conflict in northern ireland it is very important that milk man is set during the troubles i hope everybody is enjoying this session i hope you will read extra about them francis spofford we have included him here because his golden hill is a little famous even though you are not avid readers of fiction make sure that you at least know general knowledge about contemporary fiction francis spofford is important because his golden hill is important it is also historical fiction and he won several awards for it numerous prizes he got for golden hill if you just google search a little bit you will get more information and uh, francis spofford is english he is from proper britain the next writer everybody has heard of she could be important very very important it is an enright she is also irish remember in the recent net exam irish scottish writers were asked remember in gate also they might expect you to know some irish scottish writers and and right is famous for her man booker prize winning novel the gathering it is about an irish family experiencing the loss of a brother and son 
the title refers to the funeral of that uh, son and brother and this is about family relationships love loss etc this novel became very famous when it won the booker prize in 2007 man booker prize and it it would be great if you know the publishers the um, you know adaptations please when you read and study remember to look for all that because they will expect you to watch the movies at least the gathering um uh, is the story of a narrator's inner journey even though it is about a death it is actually the narrator's inner journey that is why it is psychological it is a uh, psychological fiction we can say it takes place in uh, ireland and it reflects some of the socio political conditions of ireland also of this time and and writes gathering please don't forget the next important 21st century british writer don't worry i will tell you 21st century american writers indian writers uh, post colonial other post colonial writers they are all important caribbean writers next writer is again british but he is scottish and he lives in america now it is douglas stewart born in scotland but emigrated to america he was a fashion designer later he became a novelist and everybody must have heard his shaggy bane which received booker prize recently <coughs> shaggy bane was not even published first it was turned down by publishers did you know that it is a very disturbing novel about a boy's relationship with his mother he is li living in a boarding house in glasgow and it's a very disturbing novel many publishers turned down the novel they refused to publish it this is also young adult fiction because it depicts a young boy depiction of teenagers in contemporary fiction that is a very important topic that you can look into he has also written another novel called young mango okay please read about shaggy bank could be very important now after douglas stewart i am moving on to tell you about a writer whom you might not know very well i don't know her either i saw this writer recently and her first book is very interesting who is this i am talking about it is amyer mcbride another irish novelist remember irish scottish novels are very important she is a very postmodern experimental writer she wrote a stream of consciousness narrative a girl is a half formed thing that is a first novel it has won several prizes a girl is a half formed thing by amyer mcbride as i told you this is a stream of consciousness <laughs> it explores a young irish girl's relationship with her brother so i told you teenagers and their depiction is very important in this stream of consciousness novel her relationship with her brother mother and her own sexuality i am reminded of oranges are not the only fruit a young girl discovering her own sexuality and this is written in a very experimental style the lesser bohemians that came in 2016 is also the story of a young student 18 year old irish student and a 39 year old professional actor strange hotel another work by amyer mcbride even though we have never heard this na these names please don't think that they are unimportant 
because these days in gate, net, set, even in WB set and MH set, they will ask contemporary writers. That is becoming very important. The last writer for today, I don't want to overburden you with too many writers. Please read extra about all of them, study them. The last writer for today is Sally Rooney. She is also Irish and she has written Conversations with Friends. That came very recently in 2017. And normal people that came in 2018 won Irish Novel of the Year prize. What again, teenagers? Teenagers in I contemporary Irish fiction can be a research topic. Teenagers in contemporary Irish fiction. In this book, Normal People tells the story of the complex relationship between two Irish teenagers. Interesting. And she is one of, she was born so recently. Many of you are older than her. She was born in 1991. Can you imagine? Such a young woman. And uh, she has also written Beautiful World, Where Are You? 2021. This uh, writer, she has also uh, written for television. Normal people and conversations with friends have also been episodes in BBC. So this is a very important writer, Sally Rooney. Now, in the next YouTube Live, uh, I will continue with 21st century writers. This will be an amazing series. But please remember to read on your own and research on your own. This half an hour that we spend together contains so much information. So not only really will you pass gates, set net, etc., you will also uh, turn out to be very knowledgeable readers. I am uh, hoping that this session has been very useful for you. I will give the PDF to my paid course students uh, and the others. There wasn't much in the PDF. You can just read on your own. I am stopping the live stream and now my paid course students can talk to me. Thank you, everybody. Watch out. I will be back with more very useful YouTube live sessions. Okay. Please read extra. That is in your hands.